All right, so we're here with Kelsey, Caroline, Josh, and it's day one of our Run Fast program. So we're gonna start out with some mobility stuff, the Yoda stretch. <laughs> you start out by sitting on the ground, Indian style, then you take, <laughs> you take your foot and put it over one knee and you stretch towards that side and that opens up your hip capsule. We're gonna do this twice on each side and then we'll move on to more mobility stuff. All right, the second part of our mobility warm up will be the knee hug to Spider-Man lunge to overhead reach to hip lift. And then on the other side, we'll go ahead and do this four times per side and then our last mobility drill. All right, and the third and last mobility drill we'll finish up with rocking ankle mobility. All right, we're here on our 10 minute jog. This is gonna be our warm up, and then we'll follow it up with a light Indian run workout. All right, a little bit more than halfway through our warm up. How are we feeling guys? All right, now that we're past the 10 minute warm up, we're gonna form up for the Indian run workout. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna, we're gonna string ourselves in a line. So Caroline, get behind Kelsey. And now whoever is in last is gonna run to the front. So I'll start it out, run past Josh, give myself a good couple of meters, and then Caroline will run. She'll go ahead and go past me, and then Kelsey, and then Josh, and we'll do this continuously for four minutes, then just keep jogging for two as our active rest, and then do it for four minutes again. And that will be most of our distance work workout for today. All right, so due to popular request, we've decided to walk the two minutes of rest, which is fine, as long as we keep our bodies moving and I don't get run over by a car. All right, we just finished the uh, Indian run workout. Now we're all just hanging out by Kelsey's car because that's what the cool kids do. And we're making sure we're rehydrating. Lots of water, lots and lots of water. And after we cool off for about five to 10 minutes, we'll go ahead and do some form drills and that'll be it for today. There we go. All right, so the first drill we're gonna do is the high knee drill. We're gonna work on getting our feet, our knees up, our feet right underneath of us, and using our arms while we run. So Josh is gonna go ahead and start the group off. Pretty good job there. All right. All right, that was pretty good. And as you can see, we have hurdles set up right next to the cones, which would be the next progression for somebody more advanced like Josh. So this really gets people driving their knees up and you have to put your feet down quickly because you gotta stop your momentum from going forward and crashing into the next hurdle. So go ahead, Josh. There you go. And, all right, so our next drill is a high knee drill, but you're only gonna have one foot in between the cones. 
So go ahead, Josh. So this drill is the progression after the high knees to start working on a little bit more accurate um, stride length. So this would be this would have more of a transfer to actual sprinting since you're actually only getting one foot in between each one. And then for the more advanced people, you would go through the hurdles just like with the high knee drill. The next row will be the lateral high knee drill. This is more for every other sport aside from track. Anybody that has to move side to side instead of just front and back. So Josh is gonna go ahead and demonstrate it over the cones. So the same idea as the high knee drill, except um, you don't want your hips to turn as you're going from left to right or from right to left. You still want to get your knees up, get your feet underneath you, and use your arms. And for more advanced people, you can go ahead and move to the uh, mini hurdle. So go ahead, Josh. The last row we'll demonstrate today is the last progression of the high knee drill. So now the cones and the hurdles are spaced out with three feet in between. This way you still work on the high knee, the foot underneath of you, good arm drive, but now the extra component is that you have to put more force into the ground to get your, your body to travel the extra distance. So go, go ahead Josh, demonstrate. Beautiful job. Right. All right, now we're done with our quick agility session for today. Uh, we just went ahead and jogged over to the shady spot and we're gonna do some stretching, just a good 10 minutes of free stretching time. Uh, just make sure we're hitting the hamstrings, the quads, the hips, and the groin. Um, yeah. Good first session today guys and let's get the ball rolling. <laughs>